Health officials are warning that the unofficial end of summer could bring about an unintended spike in coronavirus cases. This as the number of dead in the U.S. approaches 189,000. And a new model used by the White House projects that number could double by the end of the year if preventative measures aren't kept in place. CBS's Nikki Batiste reports. It wasn't just the beaches, amusement parks. This one near Pittsburgh saw large crowds, while in Orlando, Disney World and Universal Studios hit their limited capacity restrictions. A Burning Man themed party on San Francisco's beach drew more than 1,000 people Saturday night and was harshly condemned by the mayor who tweeted, this was absolutely reckless and selfish, adding, you are putting people's lives at risk. Relative to where we were heading into Memorial Day, we have an equivalent amount, if not more, infection heading into Labor Day right now. On Face the Nation, former FDA Commissioner Scott Gottlieb warned there could be another spike in new cases, similar to the one following Memorial Memorial Day weekend, but even more dangerous this time. We're heading into the fall and the winter when we would expect a respiratory pathogen like a coronavirus to start spreading more aggressively than it would in the summertime. Hundreds of young people partied at a Manhattan park near New York University Saturday night. The university is launching an investigation and had already suspended more than 20 students for unrelated health violations. San Diego State brought in security guards after 120 students tested positive over a two-day period. In-person classes have been suspended. My office has already issued over 450 violations to individual students and organizations. We are doing everything within our power to ensure that we're prioritizing the health and safety of our students. As you celebrate the unofficial end of summer today, remember, officials say that spread is happening at more intimate gatherings like backyard barbecues. Americans are urged to wear a mask and keep physical distance, even with friends and family who do not already live with you. Nikki Batiste, CBS News, Asbury Park, New Jersey. Health officials are also concerned about widespread protests having the potential to spread COVID.